Kuzove počela je napad na Srebrenicu, granate su padale, mi smo bježali po šumu, on se bježao s nama, Srbi. Bratić nije bio baš maloljetan, već je napunio godine, ostalo je dijete od šest meseci, nije ga zapamtilo. Šta ćeš život teži i dalje? Teško mi je što smo ovdje, na ovom terenu. Moja baš familija. Srebrenica in eastern Bosnia is a ghost town. More than 7,000 Muslim men never returned after the civil war. They were killed in 1995 by Serbian soldiers in a series of incidents commonly known as Europe's worst genocide since World War II. Every year, on the anniversary of the fall of Srebrenica, more bodies are released for burial. Relatives come back from all over the world to say goodbye to their loved ones. This is still a huge media event. The Bosnian government exploits the opportunity to remind the world that the United Nations failed to protect Srebrenica. For several years, Investigative reporter Mirsad Fazlic, or Fazla as he's called, has been investigating what happened in Srebrenica. It is still an untold story. Until now, uh, uh, Srebrenica was just a black and white story, and it's not the case. And my job is basically to find out the truth. In 1991, Yugoslavia began to split up. In 1992, the Bosnian Muslim majority, led by Alija Izetbegovic, declared its independence. The Serb minority resisted, and soon civil war broke out. The Bosnian War is an inseparable part of Fazla's life story. He joined the Yugoslav National Army in 1990. After Bosnia ceded from Yugoslavia, he and his Serb friends became enemies. Fazla joined the new Bosnian Army. Let's go. Ciao, Tetka. Let's go. Before the war, the Muslim, Serb and Croat people of Yugoslavia and Srebrenica lived together in harmony. People came to Srebrenica to sell their food, work in the factories and improve their health in the famous spa. Two years later, no one came to Srebrenica for health reasons. The same amateur photographer documents a civil war, the bloodiest war in Europe since World War II, a conflict that will last from 1992 to 1995.
The Serbs controlled the Yugoslav army and its heavy weapons. Soon, the Muslim-controlled towns of Bosnia were under siege by Serb artillery, particularly the small Muslim towns of Srebrenica, Zepa and Gorodze were surrounded and isolated in the middle of Serb territory. The same happened with the capital, Sarajevo. The Bosnian army chief, General Sefir Halilovic, managed for a long time to defend Muslim areas. Inside Srebrenica, one man emerged as a military leader. Brigadier Nasser Oric soon became legend and was known as the defender of Srebrenica. He attacked nearby Serb villages in order to get enough food for the 40,000 townspeople. Some 50 Serb villages were destroyed by Muslim forces. Women, children and old people were brutally murdered. Srebrenica became an isolated and hated enclave in Serb-controlled territory. These ruins outside Sarajevo are a stark reminder of Fazla's time at the battlefront. Like the people of Srebrenica, he was surrounded and bombarded by Serb artillery. One incident he'll never forget. Off duty, he left his quarters to carry out an errand, and that saved his life. The tank shell uh, get into it through the windows and exploded uh, uh, in a room in which were seven people. So. It was pretty messy. They all died. I don't think about it anymore because I don't want it. I'm trying to forget that. It's just a normal human reaction, I suppose. Fazla's investigation into the war started when he met farmer Fuad Justic, one of the few Muslims who returned to Srebrenica. Fuad doesn't only blame the Serbs for the massacre, but also Bosnia's Muslim leadership. Srebrenica was sacrificed in a political horse deal, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Fazla's search for answers is without borders. His first goal is to find Serb war victims around Srebrenica. Very few Muslim journalists dare do this, particularly in the village of Kravica. Hatred against Muslims is intense since the village was attacked by Muslim forces and destroyed on Serb Christmas Day, the 7th of January, 1993. Ratko Nikolic. Dobar dan. Ja se izvinjavam. Kako ste? Evo dobro. Ste vi Ratko Nikolić? Jesam. E drago mi je nas je poslao Jovan Nikolić iz udruženja. Jes. Dole onaj. Odruđa kam si. Da, da, da. The attackers also burned down the house of Ratko Nikolić. He tried to hide in the forest but was found and shot in the foot. Rotko recognized the Muslim commanders as Brigadier Nasir Oric and his deputy Zulfo Trifunovic. Nasir 
vojničke, one čizme, one pre uske pantalone fine. U Zulfe Tursuna je bilo dobro, se sjećam kod da juče je to bilo, zelena beratka, automatska puška, znam dobro. Da, da, da. Ratko was tortured every day for a month. The beating destroyed his hip. After a month in Srebrenica's prison, he and another man were released in a prisoner exchange. No one has found the bodies of his six fellow prisoners. Kravitsa church was also desecrated in the attack. Close to the memorial for the Serb victims, Fazla wants to talk to some widows. Soon, the interview is interrupted by a war veteran. Ne da uvredim, ne da sve da povredim, pogotovo što uvažava i menju, njevo familiju kompletnu. Ali ima takvih mnogo koji će i da da kaže, mi smo izgubili ovo, mi smo izgubili ovo, mi smo izgubili ovo. I ako hoće da kaže ko je pritlo s vama, ili Nikoli će pritlo sa s vama. Dobro je zemlja. Kada se je šest slučaja bilo u Šinkovićima, sad nema, nije ni. E, e, evo. Uvijek ne volim da me snima i da ovo na tipu televiziji, jer pogotovo mi se izvinti. He was, you know, sure that we are, you know, uh, spies or spooks or doing something for Muslims or, you know, whatever. Is this the typical when we're talking about wars? This yeah. Uh, in these places it's typical. I mean, in huger places probably not. But this village, you know, it's... War is still going on? Ah, he said that, yeah, okay, I can drink coffee with Muslims, uh, say hello, but I hate them uh, as they hate me, and, you know, it's, it's just, you know, full of uh, anger. In one moment he mentioned that uh, uh, if he knows who killed his brother, the, re the revenge will be completed because he's, uh, he's ready to kill all that uh, family. Let's go. <laughs> I, 